What's up, you guys? Welcome back to NRL Fantasy Analysis. We're going to be going through a massive video here. I've put together 40 of the squads that you guys have sent me. I hope that you can get through a good part of this video and learn a lot. Uh, if you do get hap happen to uh, get a little bit bored, because I'm, you know, a lot of the teams are similar. All I ask is that you stay for at least 10 videos, uh, sorry, 10 teams, um, and hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. If you're going to piss off after 10 teams, that would be cool. But hopefully, I go through your team. And uh, we have some fun in this video and help you out before team list here. Yeah, with some guys that you know potentially we could be bringing in guys that I think you could potentially move on eventually to get Cleary because I know a lot of people have got that on their mind. So a few different things there. And you can see in this team here, LP Roostars has had a decent start, 4,275 overall rank. Has used his two trades this week and is leaving 221 in the bank. So I imagine this is for a Cleary pickup at some point. We're sitting there with Hughes as the main half. And then we've got Schneider, Walters, for example, uh, as guys in that, uh, yeah, as, as Haas, for example, uh, with Ilias and then Kurt Mann. So I'm, I'm assuming Cleary is the man that, that LP is going for. Deciding to hold on to Reed Marnie at this stage. Josh King's in there, which is cool. In terms of guys I'd be looking to eventually move on for a, a Cleary trade-in, would probably be you know, using Berry's cash if he, if he doesn't happen to improve. Obviously, he's brought in Brody Jones this week, and we'll talk about him a little bit further in a lot of videos, but if he's getting that edge position for anywhere past you know, four to six weeks, then Brody becomes a really good option at a cheaper price, who has a, a nice average of 44 in 80-minute in efforts on an edge for the night. So that's that. Um, but I'd say Reedy, and then um, you know, Berry, and maybe a Tuolungi, uh, eventually, uh, Joshy King, if he happens to get less minutes, they're all guys that you could use to downgrade or upgrade to get Cleary. But other than that, the team's looking pretty solid after the two trades this week. I don't know what those trades are, but um, we'll do that. And I've got 40 tabs open, so let's see how slow it all is in, in transitioning. Uh, so bear with me with that. We'll, uh, we'll slowly get there and, and you know, improve it as we go. All right, RDS commentators. Let's have a look at this squad here. And, and does have a Kurt Mann and Jai Arrow, which is nice. Jerome Hughes there with the 39. A lot of people are looking to trade him out. I think that's a silly idea to start off uh, your week anyway. But um, yeah, Harry Grant coming back into the starting side is going to be great. You know, potentially moving on a bully would be ideal. And in terms of the cash cows that are available, you know, Leo Thompson would be one that would come to mind if you want to move bully onto him. Um, but other guys, yeah, obviously Ilias uh, Tuolangi, Baalea, all guys that you could potentially move on in the starting side. I'm really happy with that setup. And I wouldn't do too much else this week, mate. I'd probably only the one trade if you if you're looking to do that. If you are eventually are looking for a Cleary, then you know potentially Arrow in you know four to six weeks, I'd say, because he's doing really well. There's no point moving him on. Um, and if you if you're worried about you know you're not you're not sitting there having um, a Jack Bird Aiken Burton kind of combo in the center, so I'd probably hold on to Aiken at this point, and that will be all for this team. Move on to number three. And that would be Jonty French. So, not sure where this person is uh, ranked at this stage, but we have obviously Moses. You know, I think with him, he's coming into a, a bunch of great games for him anyway. We <laughs> TK and the boys call him the the flat track bully, and that's that's a pretty fair uh, compliment, which is great. You know, when you're looking at his his run uh, his run up the next few weeks. So, yeah, I wouldn't be looking to worry or wouldn't be worrying or looking to move him on. In terms of the bench, we got obviously the you know similar to mine in terms of the Berry Panasini combo. I'm looking to hold both of them, but I can understand why people are looking to move at least one of them on. If you are going to move someone on, I'd say Berry is your man, but just be aware that he has that wing fullback duel, which is really helpful. And, and so far, we haven't had any of the wing fullbacks get injured, and that's something that would have really helped me because I wouldn't have to make a trade. Whereas you know just having him there available, if someone gets COVID, if one of them is out through injury, is going to be really, uh, really beneficial. But other than that, Bullimore is the only one I'll be looking to trade out. And yeah, we'll go through all, all the options post team lists with this one, Jonty. All right, next one here. So we have a look at the Christie's CNTS. So I'm not going to say it on YouTube. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, overall rank is 3804. Got the two trades only have been used so far. It's got the Dylan Brown uh, special, which is good. But my main worry here, obviously pretty strong in the centers, so you could be use um, Burden or Aiken in the edge, which would be, oh, sorry, in the edge and, and half, which is ideal. But this bench is slightly worrying, just with the, yeah, the Penasini, Berry, Bullimore, Walters, Vitalea. So you'd want to probably make one trade this week. And uh, you know, I suppose the question could be, are they going for Cleary? 363K in the bank. And that's why they're going really cheap. 
uh, starting edges and also the interchange. So I said, guys, I'd be looking to move on would be Bully. You can straight swap him to a, a top gun over 700K would be a solid option. If you're looking to upgrade to a Cleary, for example, then gee, it, it, it makes it tough. You know, you've obviously got some center cover. You've got Penasini, Berry, um, which is ideal, and Tungo in there and in the edge. So you could potentially go an Aiken or a Burton up to a Cleary if you wanted to. You would have to downgrade a Berry to, what, about 300K? That would give you 50, so 410. Yeah, you probably need about a 250, 260K guy this week to downgrade Bully to to go up from a Burton or an Aiken um, if you really wanted to. But yeah, just some suggestions. Other than that, the team's looking solid. We'll see what Tui does uh, coming back into this week, but that's about all for this team. Well done so far. All right, the zero star. I think you'd made a couple of trades, if I'm correct. Yeah, already bought Cleary in, I think. Moved on a couple of big guns. Um, so yeah, brought in Brody Jones and Cleary and traded out. Oh, I can't remember, I read it in the chat. Um, but one of the guns in the halves, and just be aware that if you, with the with trading guns out that you know, it's a bit different to trading out arrow because we don't think he'll be a gun we're probably going to move him on middle of the season whereas some of the other guys yeah you know, whether it is a mitch moses or, or you know dylan brown people are mentioning like oh should i move dylan on he's averaging 57 and a half and you know there's not many people averaging 55 plus in in the game at the moment so guys like junior junior bolo um i'd be looking to move on before you know some of those gun halves because because junior hasn't been a, a top gun uh, any of the last you know past bunch of years you know you got xavier coates in there who hasn't um he hasn't set the world on fire he's got a few of those guys that you can move on um, beforehand and i think that's you know probably a better way to go about it. jack bird hasn't really lived up to the hype you got selwyn selwyn cobbo in there um who i'd be moving on before those types of guys you know hamiso you could be able to downgrade, for example. So that's some of the options I'd look at. But if you want Cleary in and you want to captain him, then that's a decent option as well, obviously. And never going to tell anyone not to go for Nath. Okay, not the Warriors. All right, not sure on any extra cash available or anything, but <clears throat> here we've got Reed, Starling, and Randall, which I think is okay, but it obviously drops down a little bit of your potential, um, you know, uh, sorry, potential cover uh, across your team. Obviously, just sitting here with Crichton, and I think I saw in the comments that you, you were looking to move on Crichton and possibly Reed as well. And if you're going to do that, then you can definitely get to, to Cleary. You just have to downgrade, what, 350k? You'd have to get someone under that 340k mark. And is there anyone available? Yeah, there is, but how good of an option are they? And how quickly do you want um, to get Cleary into your side? So, you know, this team doesn't have a clear gun half other than, you know, moving Burton up. And if we decide to do that this week, then you're, you're struggling for center cover, which is a slight worry. Moving moving Tungo down, you'd have to get some um, edge cover unless you were going to play to a Lungi. But yeah, so if you were to do that, the Reed and Crichton downgrade upgrade option would, would do just fine. I think you'd be sitting with a pretty solid side, and that's probably the, the way I'd go about it. Just be aware of the cover that you would need on your, um, on your bench. Okay, so... Uh, number seven, we've got 34 to go. Beautiful. Freaker Miles, we get to your squad, mate. All right. So let's have a look at the bench straight up. We've already made trades. So Brody Jones comes in. We've got Barry, Tualangi, and Bullamore. I'd probably look to move on Bully, but I don't think that's happening. We've got Teague Wilton in there. It's a bit of a different one. I like that. Um, other than that, the rest of the squad, you know, really solid in the halves. So plenty of cash there early. If, you know, based on this team, I wouldn't be looking to get a Cleary in. At this point, you've got Schneider on the bench to cover half. Um, yeah, you've definitely got enough there with Kurt Mann, etc. So I'd be looking to probably hold steady with this squad now and eventually just move Bully on for the next you know, cash cow. He's not going to lose a heck ton of money, um, but yeah, not going to make you any at the same time. So that's that one there with Freaka Miles. Well done, mate. Looking solid. Okay, let's move on to this one. This is a bit funky. We've got some, you know, we've got some Davi Moale. We've got you know, Wishart. We've got Fafida. Uh, on the emergencies and, and bench there, which is very interesting. We've got the three-prong attack with the, the Teddy Pap Hines. Dal Fanukin's done really well. I'm assuming you, you know, you, this kind of looks like a team that's been following following the cash. I imagine Fanukin was brought in last week uh, or the week before, and Murray probably one of these recent weeks too. Uh, so, yeah, well done on that pickup. In terms of you know, where all your money's obviously sitting, it's in the mids and also the, um, you know, the wing fullbacks and then the halves now. So just be aware that you know, we are looking to make some cash as well, and which is not going to happen too much with this type of emergencies. With um, you know, we got one, two, three, four, 
uh, if we go for feeder as well, potentially five people that aren't making money on your bench. And that's something I'd look to address over the next few weeks. If it's not now, then um, you know, picking up some of the better cash cows would be ideal over the next few weeks for this, uh, for this squad. So yeah, looking decent, but very different to a few other teams. All right, so Forest Lake Falcons, we're sitting there ranked in 75 position and sitting with 489K remaining. Wow, congrats. Well done to Forest Lake Falcons. Well done. You're absolutely killing it. Had an awesome round three rank there of 309. So, yeah, great score. And you can see here by um by some of the guys here that the bench was obviously really, really solid with Josh King as well. Um, Benny Hunt was really, really good. Having Kurt Mann, Arrow, um, you know, Payne as captain was a great call. So, what do we do here? We've got 489K in the bank. Done really well with the cheapies on the bench. Obviously, you know, keeping this in mind and uh, in, in, in the bank to get to a Cleary has a fair bit of cash in the centers at this stage. So the 489, who would I move on from this squad this week? It probably, you know, the guys you're looking at, you've got, you've got some center cover with Tungo. You can move him down, but wouldn't have anyone on the bench to help you out. But potentially Taylor May could be an option for this side, mate. If you were to downgrade... How would you downgrade? You could downgrade to a Lungi, you could downgrade or upgrade it would be like an Ilias, for example. I wouldn't touch anyone in the main squad. I just think they're doing too well to to push. You know, maybe you don't go for Cleary this week and wait for a 240k to pop up. And you can do a downgrade upgrade scenario there with um yeah, you know, with an Aiken, for example, I think would be potentially the one. Or, you know, he's if you're looking at Jeremiah Nanai. He's at 438k now. He's getting closer and closer to what Aiken would be, and, and he could potentially be uh, over the next few weeks someone that you could um, you could upgrade to a Cleary and and downgrade someone else. So it doesn't have to be this week, but maybe over the next few weeks would be a good idea. But I'm really happy with the squad mate, and um, well done so far. Continue the great work. Okay, next one, number ten. We're pumping through. Obviously, it's going to get quicker as we go with the teams getting fairly similar, but. All right, Toby Stroop, so again, another really good squad, 455th in the rank, 268k in the bank, only used two trades so far. So, considering that, it looks like Taumalola would be a guy that I'd look to move on. Sexton's in there doing well, as someone a little bit different. Kurt Mann we have at the moment, so you're yeah, not too much to worry about there. The bench is doing solidly without, yeah, it's looking pretty similar to most teams, to be fair. In terms of guys you'd be looking to move on and get to Cleary would be the reason why I'm assuming there's 270k on the bank would be would be the Tamalolo. Um and I suppose if you wanted to who have you got? So you got the hooking options there with the three guys. It's just having enough cover. You know, with, with Vitalia not playing, you want to have some center and mid uh, and, and wing fullback cover, which you don't really have. So again, it's one of those ones where you'd probably look to wait a week or two to get Cleary in just to make sure you have enough cover over the next few weeks and, and a few of these guys are still making money even like Arrow for example is scoring really well I wouldn't want to move him on but it could be a, a Tamalolo and an Arrow um, potentially in the Nye uh, a little bit later if he you know he's probably got the odd low score in him for sure if we can tell um, for what happened in round two so yeah probably a sit and wait on this team but yeah doing really well with for Toby all right let's keep moving okay in this one here, very, very similar squad. In terms of got what I would do, obviously playing Panasini at this point. Bully needs to go. Who don't we have? There's Starling that we could potentially get. I'm not sure how much money you have in the bank, mate. Um, but Bully out. You could almost go Bully and Berry to Brody Jones and potentially Starling if you had enough in the bank, but... Um, Brody, Don Brody Jones is probably a decent option at this point. Um, you guys like Taylor May as well. We just needed that cheaper, yeah, that real good cheapie to come up, which will happen at some point. There hasn't been enough injuries so far, even though there's been a lot of ACLs. Um, but this turn, there's not a lot to go off in this one. I think Bully would really, would really be the clear trade out for me. Um, so sorry, I couldn't help too much with that one. It's just sometimes it's just hard to be able to do too much. All right, Miranda Park, Marcus Browns. What do we got here? I'm really happy with the halves combo. The center combos. Hasn't done well this week, obviously. He brought in Jock Madden last week, so he picked up that 33k in gains, and I'd be playing him again. Uh, I'm not sure if you, yeah, might have looped him last week. Well done for that. I used the two trades. Hamaso Ham would be the one that I'd be looking to eventually move on um, and potentially move him to upgrade elsewhere. I'd probably look to upgrade the wing fullback at this point. Um, 
Yeah, because you don't have the cover. That's the, that's the biggest issue with the halves, uh, with the, the wing fullback at the moment, is having that cover. And you don't want to play Will Smith down there. So, yeah, does this team even have Nico Hines? No Nico Hines. Okay, that's a priority. You know, I would try to go Hamiso to, to Nico in some capacity. Who would be downgrading there? That's the biggest issue. So maybe walk, working up to, to a Nico Hines would be ideal here over the next few weeks and, and, and Hamiso being the one to, to potentially go. That would be that. All right, we have a team here with a, a rank of 15 for last round and 262 overall. So this is Dent41. I see him in the in the chat a fair bit. So an awesome score from Papali'i, uh, having Dylan Brown in there. Penasini in there that was tough. But Kurt Mann, the Nay. Um, King up. Leo's on there. Harry Grant to come back as well. So awesome for, for Dent going forward. In terms of this team, you know, playing Taylor May there as well. I wouldn't look to do much this week. You know, playing Kobe Hetherington too. So you don't really have to push yourself to get a Starling. Just because you got Heather, um, Heather Randall and Grant, you know, they'll just add to the to the hooking, you know, players that you have in your in your squad. Other than that, I'd probably leave it, mate. You've done really well. Just just ride these um these good weeks while you can. It's a it's a fun time when you when you're doing that well. Okay, so what have we got here? Fanukin, Murray. I think I spoke to this team. This might be a double up. I reckon there's yeah, there's a double up, a couple of double ups in here, so that's good. Uh, makes it go a little bit faster, but number fifteen here, a decent rank as well, one thousand and forty nine. Hasn't used a trade at all yet, so well done to this squad um, for starting with such a good team. A team with DCE is is, is a great one, that's for sure. But you know, we're sitting with Schiller, Tuolangi, Ilias. There's really not much else to do here, eh? Really happy with that. You got Tongo, you got Nanai. Um, just had a great start overall, and the only, the only guy I'd be looking to move on would be Bully. Um, if you wanted some center cover, you've already got Barry there. Yeah, Brady Jones might be the decent one for here, but we'll find out what happens with um, team lists. But yeah, solid squad. Just keep holding on. If you can have a heap of trades to, to use through the middle and, and the back end, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Alright, Cobarino. Another really good rank here, 198. So... Um, again, not going to be too much to talk about here. DCE, Teague Wilton, really, really good. Jack Bird's probably the only one that I'll be looking to eventually move on. Um, I've only used two trades so far. Baker and Cooler, probably not great cash cows at this point. In terms of guys you'll be looking to pick up, again, there's not a lot. You know, and there's, it's almost worth in these couple of weeks when there's not a lot coming up. That you know, Just remember that the 240, 250, 260k guys are going to pop up. They're going to have um, decent roles in the squad. You know, Schneider comes in real last minute, so that can happen again with other guys. Really nice team. Just hold strong with what, um, what's what been happening at the moment. Really, really good efforts. All right, Andrew Longjohns. Got a nice little squad here. In terms of what I would do, just believe the only trade out. Just find out what happens in Teamless and go from there. Sorry not to add too much to it. Tedesco's are definitely a hold. Just with the wing fullback position so poor at the moment in terms of, you know, Cheaper options. You really only got Stephen Crichton, but he's too he's expensive now as well. So this is one of the only teams that you come across that actually has cover, apart from if you have a berry like myself. So that's that there. Uh, the Bathurst Bandits. So coming eight thousand or just underneath two hundred seventy three in the bank. In terms of uh, this, I'm assuming they're looking to get a Cleary, and I've been keeping money in the bank for that. That's the only worry, guys. When you keep money in the bank, you then you're looking to trade out guys that you probably wouldn't want to trade out to get a Cleary. So I understand why you're doing that, but yeah, I also would suggest maybe a week or two to get him. Unless you've got Tamalolo, you've got Reed Mane, these types of guys that are just underperforming guns, um, that you could straight swap the two of them to, to get there. Then other than that, I probably would just be holding steady with this team, um, apart from like looking to move Bully if something pops up there. But yeah, the team's looking pretty good, mate. I, I wouldn't really try to touch too much there. Okay, number 19. We're getting there. Iron Will. 27,418, so a few things to obviously fix here. So I already made the two trades. Am I happy with the trades that have been made currently? I wish I knew what they were. Oh, and Will, you might have mentioned it in the chat, but yeah, too many to go through. Paddy Carrigan comes in. I'd just be aware, if, if you decide to bring him in now, I would push back on that trade. Nico Hines' as captain is obviously nice. You've got Haas in there. May, I'm assuming, has just come in as well. I doubt you've got both of their scores with how you're, with, you know, with how you're ranked, sorry to say. Um, be nice for Billy Smith to continue to make some cash for you. I think that's probably the slight issue at the moment is that you've got a bunch of guys on the bench not making cash. Um, but the team's good enough to actually do okay 
from here with these two trades. So I'd probably look to hold off a little bit over the next few weeks if you can, I will, and improve from there. All right, the next one. Rank 9173, this is 24-hour Z. We got Murray, we got Finucan. Have I seen this team before? I have, why is this? Why do, you keep, <laughs> why do you keep posting your team, brother? You're killing me. All right, next. Folks, doesn't stand a chance. Is this a cricket band? I'm not sure. No, it's F O A K E S. Anyway, uh, ranked 9002, has used one trade this week, and we're looking at Tuolungi in there. The Amone for feeder at the bottom there isn't looking terrific, but the rest of the squad's looking solid. Schneider on there. Yeah, I suppose this team needs to start to build a little bit of cash so we can get to a few guns. If you're looking at some of the top teams we've we've seen, they've probably got one extra gun than this team has at the moment, just with the, the amount of cash generation there's been. So just be aware of that. That's what you're looking for over the next bunch of weeks, is picking up a few uh, cheapies that are gonna actually going to do well and make you know, over 100k and, and be able to improve your squad from there. So that would be my suggestion there, folks. Other than that, the team's looking solid. All right, 22. All right, we've spoken about this one in a few other videos, so stop being a pain in my house. 2675, we're ranked. We've only used the two trades. The squad is looking good. Will you play Panasini this week? I'd play Tungo, Schneider, King, Randall, and then maybe trade a Bully to a Brody Jones would probably be my theory. Um, you got Tamalolo as well. You can upgrade him, downgrade a tad with Bully. you got 70 in the bank. You can get somewhere near the 700k mark on a Taumalolo. Um, King's doing well. Just be aware of he might end up in the bench. Other than that, solid. Reed's the other one too. If you really wanted to go to Cleary, you could go Reedy and, and Lolo to, to Cleary and Brody Jones, for example. Would be solid. Or potentially get Starling and go from there. That one's good. Okay. The Power of Beast, 1,622, only used the one trade, well done. Sitting with both for more, really, really cool. Um, Hines and Cherry Evans, I love that. It looks great. What I'm not liking is Russell and Bully on the bench. Uh, Ilias not making money either. Berry not making money. Tuolangi not making money. Aaron Clark just doing okay. I'd personally try to get Starling in this squad. If you, if you can, that would be good. Do you get him for Clark? Probably. I'd probably also look for a Brody Jones if you can. So Clark, you got 177k in the bank. I'd probably upgrade if you can a Russell or, or go Bully to, to Jones. Like if you can do those trades. With that cash, you could really go Russell and Bully. Could you do it? To Jones and whew, Starling. That would be close, potentially. I think it might be right on the dot or close to it. That would be my option um, and looking to improve that way. Or you can go Clark straight to Starling. I think that would be a better option. He's scoring okay without being spectacular. Um, but yeah, very interesting team, that one. I like it. All right. So we have a team coming 19,000. Already used the six trades. Let's see if how this is improving at all. If it is. Uh, we've got Moses Mumbai. I'd suggest that would be a bad decision. Wuhan, I'd probably reverse that. I imagine you either... If you've done that this week, I'd reverse it. If you, if you did the week before, then just ride the scores. But McCulloch's going to be back very, very soon. So just be aware of that. In terms of the bench, there's a few things to work on here. I think I think Hastings a trade mate. I don't see him being anyone uh, of importance uh, in making a lot of cash. He, you know, he's had, having awesome games, but not really scoring terrifically fantasy-wise. So he's someone I look to move on with Bully. Uh, whether that's you know to try and get a Starling, you could potentially do that. You can go Brody Jones and Starling, I'd say, to with Hastings and Bully, um, and go from there. So let me know what you think on that one. Has got Cleary in, uh, so Cleary comes in this week. Whoops. Okay. Might leave that then. But yeah, just be aware, you, you're not going to be making too much cash on the sideline here, so not sure who you traded out, but um, good luck with that. All right. What have we got? 16 to go. Woohoo! It's a long one. 2-2-3-2. Two, two, two. We have four trades used so far. What would we do this week? we got McDonald's sitting there. Not much, really, hey? Team's looking pretty good. Schiller. Mm, you're going to have to play one of the centers, so. It's a slight worry. Hopefully, Tui comes back uh, and into the starting side, and I just play him and, and hold steady on the trades. You've already used four. Just um, leave it at that. Other than that, team's looking pretty good. Uh, the Mumbai Special, 1505. Like the Brown Hines combo, like the fullbacks. 
Burton and Birds have spent a lot of cash down there. It's on the bench. How are we looking? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you can see why he's scoring well, mate. Well done so far. Uh, 188k in the bank as well. I'm, I'm assuming you're looking to upgrade somewhere down the line. Um, just, yeah, I'd probably hold it the next week or two and, and see what you know these guys can do and then potentially uh, upgrade from there. So well done. Not too much to say, Mumbai. Well done. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Get around it. I am delving into a lot of teams here. A lot of effort for you guys. All I'd appreciate is that subscribe. Um, and if you watch my videos, I love it. It's great. Uh, Rabbitohs are the best. 4,764. They do play well. They do play well. Uh, Berry in the centers is probably one to worry about. I'd look to play Penn or Taylor May. Before that, you got Grant who'll move back up. Yeah, which is cool. Um, the team is very good. I like it. Schneider, I'd be playing him as well. Get Bully out of there. So King, two Kings and Grant Schneider, I'd be playing. Yeah, this team's good. I like it. Hold steady. Uh, all right, this one's gonna be a little. The the Nougat Nannies, love it. Awesome rank last year, last week, 64. So 406 overall, 315k in the bank. It looks like it's time for Cleary, hey? What would you do here though? You're not trading Bo for more. Everyone's bringing him in. You're probably only looking at Bird to move on. Who do you downgrade with him though? Yeah, I think it's in a couple of weeks away. I reckon King's a few weeks away. If you can get him up to about 470, 480, you can downgrade him and upgrade Bird to a Cleary. I think would be cool. Because no one else I'd trade, really. Yeah, as in the nine a few weeks as well. He's the solid one as well. That's all from that team. Looking good. Just think of that kind of stuff over the next few weeks. All right. Why are Mew trades gone? Here we go. All right. Hard to see this one. So Fafid is the only one to worry about. Davey in the starting side. I'm on there. You can move one of them. You can straight swap him for a Brady Jones or you got Leo Thompson. Is cool. Yeah, I think that's sweet. Otherwise, Captain Grant. Interesting. So we have a Heinz there, which is good. Pain, pain the house is there. And also, I'll probably, you know, you're leaving Spencer Lane there for another week or so. But yeah, it's really Amone and Fafita. I'm happy if you hold on to him, mate. If you haven't used many trades, um, then you could potentially look to move him on. But he could get, come out and get an 80 or 100 for sure. All right, number 30. Already went through. Pain in the house. So really, only, oh, and Freak Miles. Can you stop doing the double upload? <laughs> All right, it's going to be like 36, it'll be. The Bali Bronco, 630 overall rank. One trade used this week. Who would that have been, do we reckon? What's the guess here, guys? If you're still with me, I'm really appreciating that. Bench is looking strong. Taylor May maybe would have come in for a bully. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, team's good. Hold steady. you got some cover in the wing fullbacks, which is awesome. Yeah, well done. I like the team, man. Keep it up. Doing well. Not that there's too much to change with some of these, you know, really good teams anyway. All right, let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, we've got one trade used so far. Bullies probably needs to go. We've got Russell as well down there. Um, so I'd probably move one of them on to a Brody Jones. A Leo Thompson could be a solid option as well. Starting side, strong. Yeah, again, all these sides are fairly similar. Yeah, a few, a few teams with Jerome Hughes here. I'd be holding steady with him. He's, he's been doing well. Um, good stuff, 225k in the bank, you know, continue to make some cash um, and build up. There's going to be a suspension, there's going to be an injury over the next few weeks, so then you can upgrade then for sure. All right, what do we got here in this one? Bench is pretty solid, starting side, also solid. Who would you trade out? Doesn't even have bully, does he? Yeah, sweet. I wouldn't have to worry about him. I reckon you can hold steady. You might have already made the trades, I'm not sure, but yeah, happy with that. Um, Bird just wanted to think about it over the next bunch of weeks. Oh, freak keeps getting in, doesn't he? <laughs> Lots to reprimand him in the in the um, in the Discord a uh, scoop. If you're watching, get in there, let him know. Too many. <laughs> uh, Stefano Uto uh, he's an interesting one. He has to go. So who do we get in? Carrigan's already in. So I'm assuming you haven't made trades left. If you still got Stefano, because he needs to be out of your squad. He's out for a couple of months. Plenty of things you can do there. In the team in general, you've got Lucy I wouldn't touch. He's starting to score well now, 50 and a 56. Hughes is great. I love the Schneider, vice captain. How good. Uh, so just Stefano, I'd probably downgrade. I look to downgrade him, upgrade a Schiller or an Ilias. You know, whether that's a Starling, Brody Jones combo, something like that would be cool. 
at this point, and then eventually be able to get to Cleary, I think. You know, if we can make some money with through a few guys over the next few weeks, we'll be able to get up somewhere near the Cleary mark. There'll be a suspension, there'll be an injury, it'll happen for sure. All right, last few to go, guys. This has been fun. Uh, apart from the guys that snuck in there a couple of times. Ruined it for everyone else. <laughs> I'm kidding. Love you all. Hetherington 43 was cool. Snyder. We got Brody Jones in already, I'm assuming. So we've made some trades. I really like the bench here. We're going to make some cash from that. The starting side, you got Penasini in there. Would you start him or Taylor May? Up to you, depending on the um, on who who they're up against. I like to think Moses is going to score well this week. Happy with the squad in this team. Well done. A few to go, hey? All right. What have we got here? Rank 680. I like this team. Snowy at Walshies. <laughs> the Reese Walsh special. Love that. Um, okay. Turns to the bench. Bully. Oh, I've already made our trades. Okay. Interesting. Who would it be? Oh, Cleary's in. All right. Cleary and Munster. How goes that combo? That is fire. Uh, duh, duh, duh. And they've got the orange armband as well for the old captaincy to make it close to that fire too. Yeah, Bully is supposed to want to move on eventually. I love the interchange. Four, which is great. Starting team. Solid also. Yeah, good luck this week. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, not too much else to go with there. Uh, the Strike Force Killers. Last couple. All right, so Bully needs to go eventually. Bird could eventually go. Adam Fennell Blake is someone that I don't think is a, a terrific option, but he's you know, serving a purpose for you. If you're looking to get a Cleary, then I think a Fennell Blake would be a good one to move on eventually. Um, and Reed or a Bird. So if you can downgrade, upgrade that group. You get 25 in the bank. Haven't used any trades left, so I'd, I'd probably look to. I, I feel like you know trading Reed at this point when you haven't used any trades is you know, you've got some a little bit of luxury that you can do these types of things. Whether you wanted to go to Starling, whether you wanted to go up to to Cleary straight away, I think all are good options. And um, yeah, other than that, the team's looking pretty good without making any trades. Well done. And it's gonna be the last one. It's up the Tigs. Unlucky for the Tigs, but your team's doing okay here. 237 in the bank. What would you use to get up to Mr. Cleary? Again, I'd be looking to improve the um, the bench a little bit here. Obviously, brought in Arthur's last week, I'd imagine. And you'd, you'd hope that he um, lifts his game a little bit and is able to score a bit better. If the, if the Warriors can actually shift it left or right, it would be nice. In terms of you guys on the starting side, I wouldn't look to move any of them on. You've got Starling there, which is cool. you got Grant, which is great. So you've got a couple of guns there, which is awesome. Um, just Mama see ya. Would be a, a bit of a worry, but I suppose a few people have. Uh, but Alea, he's not really doing much anyway. So team's looking solid. Continue to, to make some cash. Wait for a suspension or injury because it's going to happen. And then you can get to Cleary from there. But other than that, the team's good. you got Nico Hines. you got Teddy. Yeah, happy with that, mate. And um, that's it, guys. That's the um, that's the last one. I hope you really enjoyed that. I hope we got through your team. Got through about 35 in the end with those sneaky extras. But um, yeah, well done to you for sneaking in there. You definitely got your team in. That's for sure. Um, again, like, subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. We're going to jump into the team list after this. Um, and hopefully, you know, whatever happens in team list, you can use the theories and, and what I've been speaking about in this video to really help you out. And if you did last all the way to the end of this video, I thank you very much. And please leave a comment down below saying that you made it to the end. And I'll, uh, I'll get in there and comment with you. And I really appreciate that. See you later, guys. Have a good day.